Um, Kaylee, thanks so much for that update. That's right, we have FIU over here to talk about what's going on with their supply chain management program, and I'm excited to welcome on Dr. Petruco on to talk about what's happening over there and the West Coast. Doctor, what are we seeing right now from FIU's program? And also, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Thank you for having me here, it's a pleasure. Great to have you on, and it's always great to hear that there are initiatives behind training the upcoming minds within this segment. And one of the things that always kind of gets me, and I know it's a, a bit of a reach for a lot of professors as well within this space, is that a lot of students initially hearing about supply chain think it's only truck driving jobs. We're gonna be some of the things that you're seeing on FIU side, and how do you guys combat that image and really continue to draw in more students? Yeah, so um, actually supply chain is, is, is much more than just like trucks and, and logistics and transportation. So there's a, uh, there's a big span of, of processes that uh, uh, falls under the supply chain management scope, including procurement, which is my uh, primary area of expertise, uh, but also inventory management, uh, warehouse and distribution, uh, uh, logistics and transportation, of course, and also everything that's related to planning, so everything that goes behind the scene other than like the physical processes. So um, at FIU, we have a program that try to cover all these type of processes in order to make the students that attend our program prepared to any type of job that they want to, to take over. So if they want to work in the actual logistic and transportation area, they can. But if they want to work in like demand forecasting or like they're interested in becoming buyer for companies or work in production planning, we try to give them uh, a set of tools uh, um, that allow them to be well prepared to take over any type of uh, uh, job position and opportunity that companies today are looking for in the supply chain management area. I think one of the hallmarks of a really good supply chain program is not just teaching your students, but also actively engaging in research about the industry and kind of providing that crucial link from an academic standpoint. Can you touch a little bit on some of the research that you guys are doing at FIU, what you guys are covering, and if there's any kind of big time discoveries y'all have made so far? Yeah, so uh, we have different faculty are, have different focus in different supply chain management processes. I, I can talk about like especially what I'm most my uh, important area of interest. And so I am a, um, a professor in purchasing and supplier relationship management. So my, my area is uh, uh, procurement and supply and actual strategy. So I work with organization both in the public and the private sector to better understand how they can design their procurement organization to effectively implement these procurement strategies and uh, uh, manage appropriately their, their relationship with their with their supplier. Uh, particularly, I'm particularly fascinated by uh, like what are the antecedents and, and driver and, and, and factor that drive collaboration between companies and their most strategic uh, uh, strategic suppliers, especially for example in, the, in developing innovation in products, services, or, or processes. Um, and another aspect that is particularly crucial, other than looking at how the collaboration dynamics develop, is uh, how companies implement uh, uh, procurement and supplier performance measurement uh, and management systems. So uh, I focus particularly in the, in the area of design, implementation, and utilization of performance measurement system uh, that help organization in range efficiency, but also alignment between uh, what are the supplier objectives with the organization, uh, uh, with the organization Go. Particularly, I do that uh, uh, with, a, with an interest in how technology, how done, especially advanced technology in supply chain, can help to reshape procurement and supplier relationship uh, uh, management. So my research especially focus on uh, uh, the role of technology such as blockchain, big data analytics, and artificial intelligence, and how they can really help organization to put their relationship with their supplier uh, to the next level. Um, so the idea is that uh, these technology are not just like a tool, uh, but they can really drive a transformational shift in uh, how companies manage the relationship of their supplier in order they can get the, the, the biggest value out, uh, out of the interaction that they have uh, uh, with supplier of component, material, but also service and capital goods uh, uh, that can support them in, in delivering the best product and services uh, uh, through their business.
And of course, I'm glad you mentioned technology because AI definitely one of those big things that's been a huge talking point throughout 2023, only going to get bigger as we continue to go on. How are you guys addressing what's going on with AI and also maybe calming down some of the fears that may students may have around their jobs being replaced or maybe they're not no, no longer being as effective or impactful in the marketplace? Yeah. So AI is, is clearly going to be a, a big thing. Uh, so uh, again, I, I focus on procurement. There is a lot of discussion about how artificial intelligence can support uh, the, the, procurement, the procurement process. Um, and, and there are like pros and cons of, of in companies uh, thinking about uh, this technology because clearly AI can help uh, supply chain and, 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 and companies in managing the relationship with their supply chain partners uh, because it helps them to support their decision making uh, uh, much better. It, it can make activities more efficient. It can also provide better information. Um, but also they need to consider also the, the type of social and ethical challenge uh, that uh, are connected to the uh, to the use of AI uh, so for example uh, when AI system will grow in in complexity so the black box of this system would make it difficult to understand how uh, and why certain decisions are made by the technology so it's crucial to develop a mechanism that provide clear and understandable explanation of AI generated recommendation uh, to make sure that there are no bias in any decision that is put in place, the decision-making process is transparent. Again, in my area, in my area, think about uh, if AI are used to uh, make decisions regarding supplier selection uh, or supplier evaluation. So, supplier want to know and want to be reassured that these decisions are made in a transparent and, and fair way, uh, which is still like a, a gray area for uh, uh, in the in the use of uh, of this technology. So companies are facing this, but this problem, in my view, is going to be faced in the future. So AI is going to be pervasive in companies. And uh, what I say to my student is that uh, uh, they need to understand uh, that uh, uh, this technology serves uh, as a tool uh, to support and augment human capabilities. Um, they will not replace them. So they, they, I told them that we need to understand that AI uh, like is not just a standalone entity made, making decision by itself. Uh, so it will always require human oversight for its ethical application, like strategic alignment, uh, um, put in place actually then, then this decision. So uh, actually this is a big opportunity because uh, in the future, what I personally anticipate is that uh, there will be a rise in roles uh, in supply chain connected to the use of AI that today are, are not present. For example, companies will need an AI supply chain data scientist uh, who will analyze complex data set uh, uh, and will help AI to identify pattern and insight that can improve uh, supply chain decision. Or connected to what I just said, uh, uh, probably company will require figure like AI ethical compliance manager that will ensure that the AI tool will adhere to ethical standard and regulatory requirement across the supply chain. So uh, this rise of the technology on the technology will actually help students that are preparing for the job of the future to find more uh, uh, more, opp more opportunity. And this position just illustrates a few ways in which AI, but also other technology, will be expected to expand the job opportunities within the, uh, the, the, the supply chain sector. So for the students who are looking to get prepared for those jobs of the future, where can they go to learn a little bit more about FIU's program and maybe get in contact with you as well? Yes, yeah, so they can uh, reach out uh, at our uh, at our website, which is uh, mslcm.fiu.com. Um, and of course, I'll be happy to answer any question if anyone wants to reach out. Uh, my email is apatruk.fiu.edu, or my personal email as well is andreastefano.patruko at gmail.com. And again, I'm usually very responsive, so I look forward to receive any comment, question, and curiosity related to our program or my, or my research. Dr. Petrugo, thank you so much for being on today, and thank you guys for the work that you're doing at FIU. A pleasure to have you. Right now, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back right after this. <laughs> 